how do you feel the team is now after the, the runners and results that you've had? Uh, yeah, obviously now it's a more positive uh, feeling we have. Um, yeah, a few good wins in a row, of course. Uh, yeah, the the games weren't always as pretty, but the last game I think we did we did good and we uh, yeah we took some confidence from this. Yeah. What did you see the first couple of months have been for yourself? Yeah, good. I uh, think I settled in well. Um, obviously, big, beautiful club, so I'm happy happy to be here and uh, yeah, try to be. Uh, Really important for the team and get better every week. There's always been a lot of scrutiny on the new signings. Are you aware of how much of that scrutiny has been since you arrived here? Sorry, like there's the been a lot of scrutiny, a lot of focus mm -hmm. on the new players that joined the club. You're obviously one of them yeah. since the summer. Are you aware of that scrutiny at the club? Um, yeah, I, I mean, there's a lot of new signings, so it's I think it's normal that the fans expect a lot from uh, from every one of us. So. Yeah, we try to yeah, give everything for the club and do as best as possible and then uh, hopefully make the fans happy. But uh, no, I didn't follow this uh, that much, no. Uh, do you, are you now more aware of the fans' expectations since the poor runner results when there was always a lot of criticism of the team? Um, yeah, I, I knew it already before I came here because, yeah. Rangers should win every game, so if it's not the case, then it's normal that, uh, yeah, that you hear rumors from the outside or like you hear uh, uh, some negativity. But like I said, the only thing is what we can do as a team is be honest to each other in the uh, in the time we have here and look where what we can improve. I think we did it really well uh, last week, and now there's another good big game ahead of us. Have you been surprised by the, the pressure here at Ibrox, Sam, or is it what you expected? You said you knew it was a big club when you were coming here. No, I think there's pressure everywhere, so I've, I haven't been surprised. Like I said, when I came here, I said it already, every game we need to win, and this is the pressure I like. I want to uh, play for prizes, so with that comes, comes uh, pressure for the whole team, and uh, this is normal. You, you say you like that pressure. Do you feel extra responsibility on, on yourself at the moment because there are a lot of injuries up front, there might be extra reliance on yourself to score and supply goals. Do you feel that or, or would you relish that? Yeah, I think it's clear that there's a lot of injuries, especially also in attacking uh, in the attack, so uh, not extra but uh, yeah, I think the uh, yeah the options in attack we have right now is are quite thin. So uh, no, I'm, I'm every game I, I want to do good, but it's uh, yeah. How do I say this? Is it's I'm 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 ready for the for this challenge, and I think even though there's a lot of injuries, I think we showed last game that there's still uh, more than enough quality if we if we stick together. So yeah. This is positive. Sam, the manager was speaking after the game about the, the freedom that he gives attackers. We saw you picking up the ball a lot in wide areas. Just wonder what you thought of the game in midweek and, and how you found that relationship working with uh, Tavernier and, and Sifuentes on the right-hand side. Uh, especially first half, I think it went well. We, uh, we, we played a lot of faster, short combinations as well. I think this is good for our, for our confidence and, and, and also to show the fans that we... Uh, can play at a higher tempo, so uh, yeah, I think it's good. I think uh, obviously I'm not a real winger, so when I play on the sides, I will come inside as well and try to uh, play the combination. But no, it went really well, I think, especially first half. Second half was. Well, what have you heard about Rangers against Aberdeen? It's, it's a big fixture here. How are you looking ahead, and how's the squad looking ahead to tomorrow? Um, I think it's. I think they're in a good. Uh, uh, like they had a good uh, couple of games. They started not so well this season, but since the European game, they, I think they didn't lose. So uh, yeah, like I said, it's a big game. It's an important game for us. Three days, third game this uh, this week, but for them as well. So uh, this can be an excuse. And yeah, looking forward. Sam, so you've played a number of different positions so far. What do you think your best position is? 
Uh, yeah, like we we spoke earlier, I think it's I'm a player that that uh, that likes the freedom as well. So uh, last game I played more on the right hand side, but uh, the, with the freedom to come in, I like this. Uh, yeah. Obviously, I've always been a striker, so I can play as a striker or as, as a false striker behind it. So I think I can play in more positions, but the, th the main thing is uh, that I want to be free to move in, in spaces to get the ball facing facing their goal. Is that something that the manager spoke to you about when he first signed you? Did he tell you where he saw you fitting into to the shape? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, of, co of course you speak about this, but... Uh, but like I said, mainly the fact that he likes uh, his attackers, his attacking line to be free to move and to uh, to be creative. So yeah, I think this is the player I am. You've had a good taste for Scottish football. Now, what, what do you think the kind of main differences are between you know the game here and, and games you've played on the continent? Um, yeah, obviously we are uh, uh, normally ever game the better team so uh, yeah the main thing is playing through defenses that are very compact most of the time uh, finding solutions for this this has been the main uh, main thing we we talked about so yeah